I just sobbed this morning. I mean, I just, it just like really hit me hard. That Austinite Karen Reynas said the wave of emotions hit her when she realized her church services and Easter plans wouldn't be the same this year. That's part of what's really important right now for all of us is to, to name what those things are and to not be embarrassed or ashamed that we are having these feelings. Reynas thinks a lot about the emotions people may be feeling right now. She's the executive director of NAMI Central Texas, which offers mental health education and support for tens of thousands of people. She says now more people than ever before are sitting in on the organization's online educational classes. In the past, we used to always say that one in five people were impacted by a mental health condition in any given year. And I think this is a time and place in which what we're going to realize is that all of us will have an impact on our mental health. Raina says anxiety and loneliness have the potential to affect a wide range of people during the coronavirus pandemic. Additionally, people recovering from addiction or living with anxiety and depression may be facing new challenges. We need to understand that we're social beings and we really need that kind of interaction with people. Rainus believes video chatting can be helpful, both for checking in on friends and for attending telemedicine therapy appointments. She emphasizes that there is no shame in talking to your doctor about prescription medications if you think you may need it. And potentially some of us for the first time may have to, um, for some period of time, um, have, you know, um, take an antidepressant during this time. Rainus hopes this challenging period may help chip away at some misconceptions about mental health. Because it is like any other health issue, the longer we wait, the more challenging it is then to treat it. Alyssa Gord, KXAN News.